Hello everybody, Future Artist 1234 is back, and I'm here with my first episode of How to Edit Like a Boss. And in this first episode, we're going to go through the really basics on things you should know before you start editing. And that is how, what, and uh, is the, what are the, what are these tabs in the interface? I'm going to teach you what all these things are. Yeah, basically the interface. Alright, so here... You're probably wondering what all when you first prop when you first open up After Effects, you're probably wondering what all of these are, and that's okay if it's the first time open it up because that's the same way I felt. But this over here is the project. The project, this project section, is where all the magic begins. You can import footage, you can make compositions, you can make folders, make all kinds of stuff. You can import music, all kinds of sounds, audio, all that. You can even import photos and PNG files and all that and here is a timeline where all the magic happens you edit you and, and you drag effects you put effects on it you move around you do all the video making on here here's the effects and plugins and the presets where you click and drag hold and drag and put that over a video and change how the video looks or how to you just affect the video with these like for example what I have was a color correction and you can also distort blur all kinds of stuff and that's basically what the effects part is the plugins and all that preview is where you can preview your video ramp preview it or you can play pause it playing in pause it doesn't doesn't you it doesn't uh, you can't hear the audio when you play it that's why you need to ramp preview it and here the info shows you the XY coordinates and the color of what you are viewing and anyways let's get a little bit more into detail about all this and composition is obviously the video itself let's go a little bit more detail into this by double clicking here and dragging some footage in here let's see uh, editing let me find a, some clips I had a clip of mine a collateral okay so when you drag in a footage you're gonna see you're gonna see all information on it, what the ratio of it is, the frames per second, the duration, all of that. You even see the audio quality over here, the waveforms of it, and all that. And let me actually drag this in on the timeline, and what that does, it creates a composition. And I'm sorry about the little glitch right there. I don't know how that happened. That happened when I was doing it affecting. But anyways, if you just click and drag over at the timeline, it makes a composition for you. That kind of makes it easier because you didn't have to go through clicking composition, fixing up the settings yourself. And that's great, but the problem is this is only as long as the video itself. The composition is only going to be 10 seconds. You see this says 10 seconds and the composition is 10 seconds. And if you try and add more footage in, it's going to be still 10 seconds. So what you're going to do, click composition, composition settings, when you right click it, and change the duration of it to whatever many seconds you want. And now, this uh, composition is way larger now. It's up to 30 seconds. More than 30 seconds, actually. I'm not really sure how many. It's 30 and 0 0.8 seconds. 0 point, 30 point 0.08 seconds. And if you want to make folders, you can do that. Like, if you want to organize clips and music or uh, clips and compositions organized like you want to make a folder for clips and then folders for compositions if you have a lot of them you could do that you just click and drag hold and drag and you put it in and this is not a clip so I'm taking that out and how you take it out is just click it into a uh, hold drag it out and if you don't want the folder anymore you can just backspace it or drag it onto the trash and that's what you do for every single file that's how you do it and if you but if you backspace something that's in the composition it's gonna give you a little warning just so you don't accidentally mess something up but anyways that's what the folder and trash is actually deleting a folder so if you get over here at the timeline you can move around click hold and move around this to move around the video and I know it's very pixelated but that's because I changed the quality of it from full to quarter and the reason I do that is because it changes it decreases the time it takes to ramp preview because if you put it at full it takes the, the same time it takes to render the video that it does to ramp preview it 
but if you put it at quarter, it lowers the quality. So the RAM previewing is gonna be low, but it doesn't make the render out version at this quality. It's gonna put it actually at full when you render it out. So I'm just gonna tell you that, so you don't actually freak out and be like, oh my gosh, I forgot to put it at full. Now it's gonna be all pixelated, and I wasted so much time rendering it. So it's cool, <clears throat> unless you change the render settings. Like, and I'm gonna actually go and add to render queue. That's how you add something to render queue your project. Unless you change the thing here to quarter itself, the rendered out version is going to be full. It's not going to be at uh, this, okay, this setting. But anyways, let me show you guys what this does. If you click this eye thing right here, this eye picture, eye image, it's going to it's gonna make the, disable the picture. I mean the, the, let's see what to call this, the, it's going to disable the image or I mean it's gonna disable the yeah video but the sound is still there so you can disable the sound too by clicking this so now when you ran preview it there's nothing there no sound or nothing so let me put the sound back in and the video back in and ran preview it and as you guys can see it's previewing it pretty quickly and let me just click it again and for some reason, it played it a little bit too fast. That's a little glitch that sometimes happens. Oh, the reason why it's doing that is because the composition settings. Oh, never mind. I don't know why it's glitching out like that. Uh, oh, it's at 60 frames. Sorry about that. I accidentally put it at 60 because of the last uh, project. It was at 60. But anyways, let's just preview that. There you go, you can see the sound and everything now because I enabled this. And that was a nice little collateral. Actually, it wasn't that nice, but whatever. And now I'm going to tell you guys why you shouldn't really use play. Because if you just click play, it's going to be really laggy and there's no sound. So there's no use doing that. And if you don't want to... And if you're just starting to sync, I'm not going to go too much about that on this video. But if you're starting to sync and you just want to hear the music, you can click control and period or dot. And you can hear the sound only. So that's pretty good when you're syncing. And you don't want to keep watching the video over and over again. And so that's about it about the previewing. Except for this. This is where you um, change go by frame by frame. Previewing by frame by frame. And this is where you go to the last frame. This is where you go to the beginning. And this you can change the... Um, over here you can change from playing once to ping pong to loop and all that. Right now it's at loop. If you click it again it's at ping pong which means that if you play it it's after you finish playing it, it's gonna go in reverse it's gonna kinda rewind so you quickly see the ping see. pong effect and I'm not gonna touch anything so you can see that's gonna do it by itself and as you can see it just started rewinding frame by frame that's what the ping pong does and you can change it to play once to only play one time and stop but if it's at this is going to keep playing it on and on and on in a loop over and over and over in a loop. See, it started again. So that's what that basically does in the effects. I think I already mentioned this, but is where effects and presets is where all the presets, plugins, and effects are. And guys, that's about it for the interface of After Effects CC. And the only things left are the tools up here. And you're not going to really use these much unless you're masking or like moving around when you rotate. I mean, wait, or rotate or like rotation, you could do it from transform. But yeah, if you're too lazy to click all that, you could just click the rotate tool and rotate it from here. Or if you're like zoomed in and if you try and move it, if you have the, if you never touch these and you zoomed in and you try and move this, is actually going to move the position of the video. So when you go back and move the position. So let me just reset all this so you can see it better because it was rotated at first. Um, so let's zoom in and let me try and move this around. As you can see, when I go back to fit, it actually moved the video. So you don't want to do that because you don't want it to be looking all weird when one file is just all, when all your other files are perfect and this one is just like all to the corner and not fit. So when you render it out, it's going to be horrible. It's just going to be like... A bit of the video and then black background over here but 
Let me reset that and show you guys what the hand tool does. It just moves it without moving the position. As you can see, it's not moving the position. Right here, it says 441244. It's not changing at all. And if I go back to fit, it's still perfect. And magnifying, that's the magnifying glass or whatever. I mean, the magnify zoom tool. Sorry about that. I'm, just, I'm such a noob. I'm, how am I going to teach you guys how to edit like a pro and I don't even know. And this rectangle tool, it kind of masks out what part you want. I'm not going to go too much detail into that at this moment. And this is also for masking. So if you want to just, let me just quickly mask this just to show you guys. Oops, that's ugly, but whatever. Let me just, I'm going to make it even more ugly now. There you go. You can change it from add to subtract and all that. Yeah, that's what the mask tool does. Let me just delete that. And text, you add in your text. That's basically what that is. And you can change the settings and here and here, make it more bold and all that. Let me just take out the paragraph. Let me actually drag this over. Uh, oopsies. Uh, well, what's cool? Uh, yeah. Let me just. Oh, it disappeared. It's all right. But anyways, these we're not gonna be going over that because I'm not. We're gonna use these when we're editing. And that's about it on the interface of After Effects, guys. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'm sorry if I went, uh, if I didn't, if I wasn't, if I didn't really help you out that much, but I hope I did teach you a little bit, and, and for episode two of how to be a, how to edit like a boss, um, I'm probably going to go over keyframing and all that, some more basics, but guys, uh, get this video to 15 likes, and then I will, soon, after 15 likes, I'll make the next episode, and post it hopefully soon yeah guys comment rate and subscribe see ya